Raise your body off the ground with your arms supporting most of the weight. Then, bring your feet off the ground, tucking the feet and bending the knees to the chest. Hold, extending the right leg while the left remains tucked against the chest. Bring the right leg back to the tucked position and repeat with the left leg. For best results, keep the back and extended legs as straight as possible. Choose whichever resistance level you feel most comfortable with. Place one foot forward and one foot back with the center of the resistance tube underneath the back foot. Gripping handles with palms facing down, bring the tube to shoulder level and press arms up and out at a 90 degree angle until full extension. Sit down on the ground with leg extended in front of the body. Wrap the resistance tube around your feet for desired length and range of motion. Arms should be fully extended, gripping the handles with palms facing each other. Sitting up tall, pull the resistance tube towards the core, bending at the elbows and squeezing shoulder blades together. Pause and slowly return the tube to the starting position. Fold your arms across your chest or hold your hands behind your ears. Do not lock your hands together behind your head. Use your abs to lift your head and upper torso while keeping your lower back against the floor. Pause with your shoulder blades a few inches off the floor, then slowly return to the starting position using a controlled movement. Start with your feet shoulder width apart while standing on the resistance tube with the balls of your feet. Grasp a handle in each hand positioned at your sides. Slowly bend your knees and lower your legs so that your thighs are parallel to the floor while bringing your arms up to shoulder height with palms facing forward. Use the heel of your feet to push your body up to the starting position. Place one foot forward and one foot back while stepping on one end of the resistance tube with the back foot about 12 inches from the handle. Your hand should be at shoulder height. Now press the arm up until full extension. After five to 10 repetitions, repeat exercise with the other side. Hold one end of the resistance tube in each hand and place the middle of the tube under your right foot. Step back with your left leg, bending both knees 90 degrees as you bend both elbows up 90 degrees by the sides. Stand back up straight with the left leg to return to start. After five to 10 repetitions, repeat exercise with the other side. Start with your feet shoulder width apart. Wrap the resistance tube around your feet and step on it to create tension. From the squat position, extend your legs. Extend your lower back to the upright position and shrug. Place one foot forward and one foot back with the center of the resistance tube underneath the ball of the front foot. With arms down at your sides, grasp the handle with your palms facing up. Now slowly curl the resistance tube, bending at your elbows. Keep your elbows close to your body and slowly return to the starting position. Place one foot forward and one foot back while stepping on one end of the tube with the back foot about 12 inches from the handle. Bring the tube up behind the back with elbows bent, gripping the handle with one hand over the other. While keeping upper arms stationary, extend forearms up, bending at elbows. Lower the forearms and repeat. Place one foot forward and one foot back with the center of the resistance tube underneath the ball of the back foot. Gripping handles with palms facing up just below shoulder height, 
bring the arms forward and up until hands meet out in front of the chest. 